This morning we're going to be flow testing an automatic pressure control nozzle. Prior to flow testing any nozzle, you want to conduct a field inspection in accordance with NFPA 1962. Essentially what we're going to look for are that all moving parts move freely, such as the bail handle, the shaper, that it moves from straight stream to fog, all the way to flush, and back without any restriction. We're going to visually inspect the inlet of the nozzle, if it's equipped with a screen, ensure that there's no obstructions on the nozzle's inlet, as well as the outlet. Take the nozzle to flush and ensure that there is nothing obstructing the nozzle's exit point, such as stones or any other debris. If your nozzle is equipped with spinning teeth, you want to ensure that all the spinning teeth are intact, or if they have fixed teeth, ensure that all the fixed teeth are still intact. We want to identify if the nozzle has a serial number or identification number. In this case, the nozzle is equipped with a serial number from the manufacturer. If your nozzle is not equipped with that, I recommend that you assign an identification number as that's going to be required in the record keeping portion of the NFPA standard. Once we've assured all the, cycle, all the moving parts cycle as designed, we have now that we've conducted our visual nozzle inspection and our hydrostatic test, we're ready for our flow test. I'm going to mount the nozzle, in this case onto the outlet of any master stream device where I've equipped it with a pressure gauge where I can read base nozzle pressure. At the inlet of our monitor, we have a flow meter and a gate valve for controlling flow. So all we have to do in this scenario is set the pump discharge pressure high enough to achieve the highest GPM we're trying to read, which is in this case 200 gallons a minute. The NFPA standard states that you should take the nozzle to its base operating pressure on fixed flow nozzles plus or minus 2%. So it's important that you have accurate gauges that read in increments of at least 2 PSI. If you're testing a 100 PSI nozzle and you have to be plus or minus 2%, you need to be with 2 PSI increments. The flow meter we're using today accurate to plus or minus 2% up to 600 gallons a minute. So it's perfectly suitable for flow testing of hand line nozzles and two and a half inch nozzles. Okay, we're ready to conduct our flow test. The first thing I want to point out is this master stream device has a safe tag valve that is tripped. We want to ensure that that waterway is fully open. We have our nozzle fully open. In this case, we're flow testing an automatic pressure control. Unlike a fixed flow nozzle, we don't take the automatic pressure control nozzle to its base operating pressure and record the flow. We take it to its minimum flow rate and record the base nozzle pressure, so it's somewhat opposite of testing a fixed flow nozzle. This is a mistake that's commonly made when testing automatic nozzles. So we're going to start here and open our discharge. So the first thing we're going to do is take it to seven zero gallons a minute on the flow meter, and then we're going to read the base nozzle pressure. In this case, the base nozzle pressure is 89 PSI. From this point, what we want to do is slowly increase the discharge, bringing the gallonage up, and ensuring that the base nozzle pressure remains within 15 PSI of 100. What I personally like to do is take it up to 100 gallons a minute, thereabouts, and glance at the base nozzle pressure. And we're at 94, 93.9, 92, so that's within that 15 PSI of 100. Now we'll take it up, we'll say another 50 gallons a minute to 150 gallons. And again, note the base nozzle pressure. And base nozzle pressure is 99.3. Now we can take it to its maximum of 200 gallons a minute. And at 200 gallons a minute, we're at 93.4 times the base nozzle pressure. And there we are at 200. So we've gone through all the flow ranges on this nozzle, 70 to 200 gallons a minute, and it appears to be, uh, at least from a hydraulic perspective, accurate. And I would give it a pass. What about you? Yes, a pass. It's a pass. 